Good evening. Today is Friday, October 6th, 2023. Jump date for Monday tonight. Reminder, I am traveling starting tonight. And it looks like the only service that might be affected would be Tuesdays. So it's going to post either late Monday night or early on Tuesday morning before the open. I appreciate your patience when I traveled. The LFMD did go up a little bit today, but that's kind of a keep the change type of thing. It went up five cents, so let's just leave the stop where it is. If it keeps headed higher, we'll start to widen that out a little bit, just often by doing nothing. As you know, KBH hit the IPT, but didn't reverse. But the way the methodology works is as soon as you hit the IPT, you take off those shares, okay? And then you bring that stop to break even intraday. So if you haven't already lowered your stop, lower your stop on that one. We'll take a look at the rest of the portfolio in one second. Go, uh, no setups, excuse me, no setups going into Monday. I changed my mind on CCJ. I don't like the way it kind of stalled out in here. And now it's beginning to look a little toppy. As you likely know, sometimes a transitional pattern can look like a deep pullback. And when that deep pullback begins to fail, it looks more like a transitional pattern as opposed to a deep pullback. So it's it's at an inflection point in here where it can kind of go either way. I just don't think it's worth going after. Uranium stalled out a little bit today after an okay rally. But I'm keeping an eye on uranium just in case there's something else that pops up in here. A couple of shorts popping up. I don't see any reason to, to go after them at this juncture, but I am keeping an eye out, obviously, for shorts, as I normally do, especially when the market's a little questionable like this. Let's take a look at the portfolio real quick. There's LFMD right at these multi-year highs, but not enough to warrant a stop raise. But obviously, we keep spinning on new highs. We'll keep raising that stop on that one. KNF, nice little rally off its best levels, but we'll take it. Good to see it finding support at the bottom of range and rallying as it has been. Bit of a rally in ELF, but boy, this one still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. Uh, as I was, as I've been preaching, you know, don't split hairs when they make such a big move so fast like this. Even if you're not super close to that IPT. Speaking of IPT, KBH did bang it out officially today. So hopefully you took partial profits on that one. If not, next time, pay attention to the IPTs and take profits when they occur. Not trying to pour, pour salt in wounds, just trying to build discipline with everybody, including myself. Let's take a look at the overall market and let's drill down a little bit. First of all, take a look at the P's. Decent day there outside day up. I was beginning to get a little concerned in here about the P's. I really wanted to see a bit of a bounce. Now, this doesn't mean that all is well in the world, but usually when you get this oversold, you really want to see a bounce because otherwise the market could be in a lot of trouble. You know, routine one day at a time, still lots of Landry light below the 30 EMA. Nothing to get excited about just yet, but it is good to see the market bounce in here. Let's take a look at the Q's real quick. Real quick. NASDAQ had a decent day, obviously. Q's up uh, over almost 1.75% one three quarters. And it did put them back above the 30 EMA. So that's obviously a good thing. Let's take a look at bonds. Bonds had a little bit of a bounce. Well, at least they were bouncing intraday. A little bit of an opening gap reversal. Now they, they did close off their worst levels. As you can see, you can see pretty serious downtrend so far remains intact there. Nothing excited about. Let's take a look at... The rusty Russell 2000, a bit of a bounce, but again, this thing is just sideways and all over the place. And in immediate term, remains in a pretty serious downtrend. So let's not get too excited about that guy just yet. Energies bounced a little in here, but they look like they could be in trouble. They had a bit of an inflection point, and they've given up a lot of their breakouts. So that has me concerned. And I'm starting to see a few issues, or continue to see a few issues, I should say, that are looking a little toppy in here. You know, routine though, one day at a time foods down a smidge but well off their worst levels they've imploded as you can see as of late a lot of areas just looking ugly in here financials bouncing but still look like they could be yeah trouble as we'd say quite a bit drugs gave up 100 percent of their breakout decent day today but no need to get too excited there just yet biotech bounced a little bit too but it remains in a pretty serious intermediate term downtrend in here. Really everything I've been saying lately, MNC and manufacturing and, and certainly defense remain these longer term downtrends. A little bit of a bounce today, but certainly nothing to get excited about. Let's take a look at the semiconductors back above the 30 EMA. Let's not start kissing each other just yet, but it is good to see them back above the 30 EMA. Still look pretty toppy in here. You never routine that one day at a time. If we can get back up here somewhere, maybe about 9600, start banging out some new highs. That would certainly be a good sign for the overall market. Right now, though, as usual, here it comes. 
take things one day at a time. Everybody have a great weekend, and thanks for your patience while I'm traveling. I really don't foresee any interruptions, but hey, you never know what happens when you travel. Everybody have a great weekend, and we'll talk again on Monday or Tuesday morning. Thank you so much.